Good morning. Really quick video today. Just going to be talking about uh, culling of photos within Adobe Lightroom Classic. Let me set the scene. You've been on a photo shoot or a trip, remember those. Uh, you bring the pictures back into Lightroom and you want to decide which pictures you want to process. So I'm going to talk you through my process for um, bringing those pictures in and deciding which ones I'm going to take further. Once you've done that, how do you keep track of the ones that you've processed and the ones that you want to come back and have a look at another time? So I'm going to talk through that as well. This isn't a processing video, um, I will do those um, shortly. Um, but I will do a little bit of processing just to show you how I um, take them further and using the star ratings uh, to keep track of what I've done. We've all been in lockdown um, to a certain extent over the last year so we've probably all spent a chunk of time going through um, old images, digging them out, reprocessing, uh, finding new ones. So I'll talk you through my process for finding those images to, to um, recover from the archives. So I'll talk you through a, a couple of small tips on how to find images within the archives, um, how to delve in there and, and find images that are ready to process at any time. Um, so with that in mind, are you ready? Okay, I've got a new, I've brought them into uh, the folder system uh, as per my previous YouTube video, if you haven't caught that video already. But we've got images here from uh, the the last shoot really that I did properly which is just down the road at, in um, Southbourne at Groin 52. So I've imported the images in and what I'm going to do is talk you through how I will go through the process of culling those images. So if I just get rid of this sidebar by clicking on the left arrow and do the same over the other side. We've got the grid view which I normally start with about five across. Um, and these are all the images from that, that shoot. So, so I've brought the images in. I've applied a, a simple import preset. Again, uh, I've done a, a video on creating those before. Um, I'll put a link up here. Hopefully I'm allowed to do, um, allowed to do that and put those in. So what I would do to start with, just look at them in thumbnail view because most of us post on social media now so we're only really seeing a very small um, image so it needs to be something that that strikes you immediately from that small image so this is why I start with the thumbnail view so I'll just very quickly go through and pick out the ones that I like um, but just seeing whether I like the composition like what the rocks are doing um, what the clouds are doing to, to say that I like it I would um, mark it as a one star so using the star rating so to do that I would just press the one and that will pop up the one star that one um, is a little bit overexposed but it's recoverable um, again very similar to the, the previous one again I'd, I'd mark that as one star and then moving along the images we've got a slightly further back composition so using some of these rocks in the foreground to to lead the way in this one this this bit on the side here kind of distracts me anyway that one I think is nicer that one I don't like that one there's too much white Again, quite like that, like the clouds, like the moodiness. That one with the light bit at the top, I'm not so sure on. Just very quickly picking out images that I like or don't like. This one, we're, yeah, not so sure about these bits at the bottom. Edge Patrol, to me, and I'll cover that in a separate video. I'm just picking up what's in on the edges of the frame. Um, this little 
truncated rock down here is distracting that bit I'm not not so sure he's added anything so I'd, I'd disregard that I could always crop it but um, there are other images here that I prefer again this little bit down the bottom here is distracting the frame so just moving through as the, as the sun came up more I moved to different different compositions like that one and we keep going through started to get this little bit of cloud that came across on the top left uh, which I think imbalances it so I'm just going to disregard those for the moment until that cloud has come all the way across and then I moved a bit further back because the waves were getting a bit bigger and the tide was coming in so I tried to concentrate on this this um, group of three rocks as a like a leading repeating group of three to go with the three groin markers so just playing with the composition there going through and yeah I would say of those my favorite is probably that one okay so I've marked all the ones that I'd like with one star. Um, at the top of the screen you'll see the, the star rating filters up here. If I click on the one star there it will just narrow down that list to all the ones that are that I have rated as one star. So at this point I would go through and go through them in full screen view just to see what I like, whether I like them, whether it's in focus, whether it's sharp, and um, to do that and help do that I would get rid of all the, the white around it by pressing the L so that would darken everything around it just makes it easier to concentrate so it's nice horizon slightly wonky but I will fix that yep so just flicking backward and forward probably prefer that one so that's marked as a one star at the moment so I'd mark that as a two star obviously I will correct the um, slight overexposure uh, it's probably still within it on the, the histogram if I come on the set on the side here so the histogram is still within so it's it's entirely recoverable and that one it looks a little bit weird with the with the line coming from the corner here but I think that's actually really nice okay I'll mark that as a two as well so just flicking between these slightly shorter exposure and a light bit in the top left hand corner there which I find a little bit distracting along with these little white white dashes in the sky so going forward yeah not a lot going on there not liking that okay so that will stay as a one star All right and then moving to the last image using these three rocks uh, it is a little bit distracting with this little bit of the headland popping into this into the frame there but I'll be able to crop that out probably by dragging the top down which will get get the sides out so I'll mark that as a two star as well so if I then go back to my grid I've marked three of these images as, as two star so I'll, I'll narrow the list down there by clicking on the two at the top so that's just showing me the two stars are above and I'll just pick one of those images to process so which one am I going to do? You know, any mini miny mo mm, that one, right 
Okay, so that's on two star at the moment. Click on D, takes us into the develop module. Get rid of that sidebar. So the first thing that I want to do is get rid of this little block of the headland. I'll do that just by cropping it. Probably bring down this. As you can see, I've got a grid there. Um, at the moment, that's on um, like the golden ratio. If you press the O key, it will cycle between different types of of grids. This one's useful for when you've got something that you want to be central. So I'm going to just move that slightly, just to make sure that it's in the centre of the screen. The rule of thirds. Everyone will know the rule of thirds, I'm sure. Don't need me to cover that. So back to the golden ratio. So that's that. Let's have a closer look at that frame. And it's slightly low on the horizon on the right hand side, so let's just move that. Move that up. Yeah. that's the first step so I've started modifying that image or processing that image I'm just going to mark it as yellow it's a, a, just a, a color that I use to mark that it's a, a work in progress and you'll see that in a minute um, so I'll do that just by pressing the key 7 which will mark it as yellow you'll see that the label has been changed to yellow down the bottom there so at the moment that's a two star yellow image, so it's work in progress. So if I get interrupted now, or the com computer goes down, or you know I have to go out, or whatever else, um, I know that I've started processing that image, and I can keep coming back to it until it's ready for, for publishing, or printing, or whatever. So the next thing I'll do on this is just bring the focus into the image. I'll use a radial filter for that. Just make sure I untick that. So I'm just bringing down the exposure for the rest of the image, leaving the center as it was. And I want to bring out some of the details in these rocks. So to do that, you can do many different things, but what I would probably do on this image is just bring in a bit of clarity on that and bring the whites up. Okay. That's not far off. Make sure it's sharp. We've got none of the headland there. Okay, I would mark that as a three. So um, if I was completely happy with this image, um, I would get rid of the, the yellow flag and mark it as a 4 and export it ready for Instagram or Facebook or uh, printing or, or whatever. But at the moment, I'm just going to use the, the yellow still. It's 3 star, you know, it's okay, um, but it's, it's not the finished article yet. So if I go back to the grid view you'll see what I've got here. So we're still on the two stars or above. We've got two that are marked as two star, one as a three star. So there might be something about this image I'm not quite sure of. Maybe it's the, the color tint or the white balance or something. If I can't get it right at that particular time, I can come back to that at any point in the future and finish it, easy. So, if I go back to that grid, let's process this other image. Let's have a look at this one. 
So first things first is the horizon level. Nope. Horizon always has to be level with the sea. It has to be level. So let's just bring that up. Still low. Yeah. Pretty close. Probably around there is going to do it. Yeah. Okay, you see, I'm just checking this gap along the top of the screen. Okay. So, what have we got? We got a, quite a blue image here. Um, it was way before sunrise. It was pretty blue. You know, changing the white balance will change that. But I shot it at five and a half thousand K, uh, which is the color of daylight, and it, it does a pretty good job of of um, replicating what I saw at the time. So if I go back to my radial filter again, let's set that at um, 0.6 underexposed. That's unticked, so it's just going to do the bit outside of the of the radial filter. Bang. my mouse is really noisy all right so we're a little bit underexposed so just bring that up okay okay let's just check that that groin marker is in the middle so we've got the central line here right down the center of that post that's cool all right a couple of other things on the previous image I used a, a, a linear filter to um, put some clarity on the foreground on this one I'm going to use the adjustment brush so if I get rid of that put some clarity on there probably around 20 is going to do it and using the adjustment brush just brush over these rocks just to bring out some of some of the detail if you press the OK it will show you what you've done Not so sure I want to add any detail to that because it's a bit too close to the edge of the frame. All right, there we'll go and get rid of those. Okay, sky's nice, center's nice, a little bit light down the bottom here. So I'm going to use the gradient filter, just drop the exposure down and drag that up just to darken this bottom corner not sure that I want people to be looking down here I want people to be drawn into the image to the groin marker and to the and to the oil rig or whatever it is in the background there I don't know whether you can see that there but you should be able to okay now that to me is a nice image so I'm going to mark that as four I want to export that I want to put it on Instagram get a million likes or to Facebook or Twitter or whatever you use Flickr don't know. do people still use Flickr um, so that's that image processed very quickly but I don't do a lot of processing so we have the short list so one still at two star one at a four star that's ready for exporting this one I'm still working on but it's marked as yellow so we've got those images and that's pretty much all I use the, the, the star rating for. If I've got an absolutely amazing image, occasionally I get them, um, but you only need one a month maybe and I would mark that as five star and that is portfolio piece. 
this one is okay good enough to share so I'm going to show that as a four star now to to come back to images another time if you if you've built up a catalog or an archive of images that you've part processed um, it's useful to dig some out occasionally and go oh, okay I've got nothing to do today I haven't been out shooting we've been on lockdown so if we use the smart collections we can um, find all the work in progress all the images that you've started processing but haven't finished so to do that I'm coming down to the smart collections here so if we click on this create a smart collection just name it work in progress get rid of that capital O so we want label color of yellow so anything that's yellow it's picking up so these are images that I've started processing but haven't finished so if you bored one day you can just go through here and see whether you can see it slightly differently with fresh eyes that's all, that's all I do sometimes you just cannot get the colors right or something annoys you about the image dig into your work in progress see if you can nudge it along um, oh, Iceland I'm gonna go back to Iceland um, and that's 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 it for that another thing that I would use the smart collections for is pick out images that I've forgotten about if we go back to this South Point groin 52 folder you see this one here that I marked as two star but I might have forgotten about it so what I would also do is bring in a smart folder that would show me the images that I've forgotten um, and there's lots of them on my main catalogue there's literally lots so you've marked them as two star at the time but haven't actually processed them so if we can come to the smart collections bit into the collections folder do another smart collection give that a name forgotten rating is is exactly two star and that's going to show me all the two star images so ones that I haven't actually processed and that's about it really um, I use different colors for different things I won't cover that now um, but that's the, the main part of how I would do the culling process and a little bit of processing okay thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon